Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is the reading for April the 5th to the 11th. So what I have done is a couple of oracle decks for yourselves. So I'm going to focus on your love life with the Lovers Oracle deck. Then we're going to use the tarot cards to see what's in store for you throughout this week. Then we have the health cards with Archangel Raphael. Then we have the daily guidance angels about some guidance that you need throughout this week. Then you have the Moonology deck, the Unicorn Oracle and the Ascended Masters to say what things you need to know. So I'm going to use the Lovers Oracle first for yourselves. So let's see what you need to know about your love life and life in general. So you have the Sword and Rose, it was the first one to come out. So there is clarity coming out for you. There is some own truths. There is the sense of some type of, um, there is a force that is around you that something needs to be said some truths need to come out there is a lot of protection around this person also and around you at this time there is that sense of um honor that is going to be surrounding you at this time there is a lot of um thinking like oh well, I'm, I'm happy that the truth is actually out and now can we um, just move forward, so to speak. You have the card then of the mask, which is about either you or this person that you are um, involved with in the love situation. They're not actually showing their own true feelings, how they actually feel at the moment. They are hiding something, something... Um, they may be a bit delusional in things that they say, um, they may um, try gaslighting a certain situation and hide things um, from you. May, maybe to do with um, not to scare you or not to um, worry you over a certain situation. So that is the card of the mask. Then you have the mirror card, which is you and this person that you are in a relationship with. You both mirror each other's self-image. You both um, act the same. You both got a lot of things going on. Um, and this is the sense of all the relationships that you've been through um, is all to do with whatever wounds that you have got um, going on in this situation. And it will be, um, how can I say, it will come out and there is truths around that as well. The next deck I'm going to be using is the Archangel Raphael. This is all about your health issues and, and everything about your life, what you need to know. So you have the card of meditation. So this is going to be a good time for you to meditate, have some type of rest and rejuvenation. Maybe do some type of yoga. Um, there is a sense of needing your own space that I'm sensing at this time as well. I'm going to read in the book to see what else this card um, needs to say. So let's have a look. Okay, so this says, hold positive thoughts about your health by reciting affirmations. Study with a meditation teacher. Teach, write or guide others through meditation as part of your healing work and attend a meditation healing retreat. You have give us your case. Let's have a look. Ask for help more often from people as well as the angels. Talk about your feelings with trusted individuals in addition to the angels. Practice relaxation methods such as a massage, meditation, nature works, walks, sorry, nature walks, or yoga, and trust that everything is okay and to be okay. You have the divine intervention is the next card. The angels are with the person for whom you are praying for. Notice any signs and intuition as this is a divine guidance giving you a roadmap to your answered prayers. Have patience with the process of divine timing. If you look, you will find the hidden blessing within every situation. 
have some trust and have some faith. Last card you have on this one is change your physicians. Get a second or third opinion. Be honest with yourself and your physician about your feelings. Change medication or your treatment protocol. Know that you deserve a physician who will listen to your concerns and speak to you respectfully. Research an alternative treatment and make appointments to interview other, healings, uh, other healers and other physicians. Okay, so some guidance you need for this week is notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and that you are never alone. And you have the trustworthy guidance. So you received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. Then we have the Ascended Masters. So you have Paul the Venetian with artistic expression. So I'm gonna read out the book what this one is all about. Okay, take a class to learn a new artistic skill. One of your loved ones is an artist. Express your true feelings and your life's purpose involve an artistic endeavour and such as writing or playing music. You have the next card which is Go Now. Quit your job, leave a toxic relationship, move to a new location, start a new project without delay, take a vacation, no more excuses, just do it. You have the meditate card so that you have meditation coming through for you, so do some type of meditation and um, what else do they want you to know? Be still and listen. You need some alone time. Be honest with yourself and join a meditation group or take a meditation class and listen to a meditation CD. So you have the teacher card. So you have some type of ability that you could teach people. You can be um, helping someone to learn something. Um, this personal situation is bringing you an important life lesson. Ask yourself, what's the blessing in this situation um, that it is bringing to me? Your life purpose involves teaching. Forgive a teacher from your past and you are urged to teach others. You have father, husband, brother and son. You have just met or you're about to meet a significant male partner. Your present relationships improve as you heal your feelings about your father. A male deceased loved one is sending I love you from heaven. Balance your male and feminine energy by practicing both giving and receiving daily. Spiritual law of attraction then is the next one. Is this one. Um, you can change or heal the situation by elevating your thoughts to a more positive level. Your praise and affirmations have attracted a wonderful new person or situation into your life. This situation is not a reward or a punishment. You have attracted it, which means that you are also repel or magnify it as you choose. 
Visualise and affirm only what you desire. You then have the card of the mother, wife and sister and daughter. Balance your masculine and feminine energy by practicing giving and receiving on a daily basis. Be willing to forgive a woman in your life who seems to have hurt you. And a female deceased loved one is saying, I love you from heaven. A new relationship with a woman will prove to be significant. So that's what we have from the Ascended Masters, things that you need to know. So we're going to do the Unicorn Oracle. And you have the card of manifestation. Focus on a vision beyond yourself and your unicorns will help you. So try and manifest what you truly desire, what you hope and dream for. Queen of the unicorns, you are blessed with love and compassion and also wisdom at this time. Perspective, examine your situation from a higher perspective. So whatever situation you've been involved with, arguments, uh, rivalry, anything of that nature, whatever it is, is telling you to see the situation from this person's point of view and try and see it from other sides of this situation also. Try and see the good out of it, not the bad. King of the Unicorns, you are blessed with majesty, vision and power. So you have a lot of vision, you have a lot of success. You have the card of moving, so change is happening. So be prepared to move physically or spiritually. So this may be a movement of home, a movement of a location, just moving or helping someone in general. That is something that's going to be moved. You have the last card of this deck is service. Service with an open heart is a key to satisfaction. So you will be helping someone. You will be, um, you could be helping them move. You could be helping them do anything, whatever it is. Helping from, caring for them, look after them. There is some type of service that you are going to be doing by helping someone in need for some of them. Moonology deck. The first card you have is Mutable Moon with nothing is yet set in stone for you. So let's have a look now in this box to see what this one is about. Mutable Moon. Tell me. Okay, so what it says about this card then. I know that the best will unfold for me. You're meandering towards your goal. And that is okay. Stay adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it, whatever it means to you. You have the answers you need are coming with full moon in Gemini. Have an important conversation, but stay calm. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you, have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospectus. You have full moon in cancer with a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in cancer. Okay, so what this is saying is it may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? You have the south node then with don't let your past hold you back. South node. I can find it. Okay. So this is saying I released the past. A relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. 
waning moon with what do you need to release it's safe to let go and move on move forward with as little resistance as possible this is not the time to start a new project release emotional baggage is recommended right now say sorry to someone do energetic work such as meditation or yoga soon you will see what lies ahead of you okay so let's see what the tarot has for you for this week then so okay so you have the nine of pentacles queen of cups seven of swords five of cups ace of pentacles ace of swords three pentacles and the seven of wands okay so so far what i can see is you are going to have some type of feeling happy in yourself a lot of peace and contentment with talking with someone um as you can see with this could be yourself or this could be someone else there is a sense of you know being wealthy being happy being happily single for some of you or just being happy in general with whatever you're going through in life there is a sense then that um you are bringing a lot of good things into you into your environment there is a sense that either you are very gentle you can be a mother figure you can be someone that has blue eyes fair or brown hair. um i'm sensing that this is a very very happy person you are a very happy person or this is a very happy person that you may be coming into contact with um there is some there is something that of peace of mind that's coming in and this is involving um some type of rift that have happened there is a sense of um someone may have done bad by you someone may have theft from you someone may have done you wrong okay so you are moving you are willing to move forward with your life from this person because you are happy because this person has a lot of regrets. Whatever they've done to you, they have a lot of regret. They feel like they lost out on a good person. They feel like they've lost everything. They feel like they shattered them. But you are happy with the way you are. You are moving away from this person. You are looking away from them for a start. Um, you're looking forward. You're not looking back. You're just leaving them in the past, so to speak. Um, there is a sense that there is some good material well-being coming into you there is finances coming in for you some type of abundance and prosperity that's coming for you whatever you wish for is actually coming true but this is the sense whatever you wished for you may have needed to be careful for what you wish for because maybe something you wish for is actually coming forward really really quick and this could lead to some type of frustrations um, I'm sensing with whatever is coming in for you you feel very frustrated because this is not what you expected you was expecting something else you wasn't expecting um whatever it is that's coming in for you whatever wish you wished for is linked to some type of frustration in your life and some type of victory there's some type of harsh communi communication involved with this there is a sense of uh, there is a lot of delays um but you're not expecting a certain thing to come in for you in the way is coming in but you are being given something this could be money wise this could be material wise there is something that's coming in that you wished for but you have a lot of frustrations around it for some reason
and you also have then the three of pentacles so there will be improvements to do with this certain matter that you're going through there is a sense of someone's watching you or going to ask you something um, you may be involved in a third party member or someone is coming forward um, to talk to you about something as you can see it's two people trying to talk to one person when they're trying to work and it is a sense of a little bit of confusion on this person's face like like it's like someone's coming towards you and saying oh did you do this um and you're like go oh, no obviously you did do something because they've actually got the evidence they to show um and this is about someone that's coming into your environment to talk to you and say something and it's going to catch you a bit off guard you then have the seven of wands so you have a lot of frustrations at this time there's a lot of things going on you know someone's going to find out something because there's a lot of regrets but there's a lot of frustrations on your end to but you're going to be on top of it you are the type of person i'm sensing that what is going to happen is where you get very frustrated, things are not going your way, you don't like to show people um, you're frustrated, that um, the things are going in the wrong way for you. You are this type of person which like takes things on the chin and carry on with it, or whatever is getting under your skin, you don't like to admit it, you know, you keep it, you've got a good sense of holding things from people you know good with secrets for some of you but it is odd it's an odd thing that you are going to be going through because there's a certain situation that is going on with it is a lot of conf confusions a lot of frustrations with the ace of swords and the seven of wands there's a lot of frustrations but you need to keep on top of things and this could be linked to find someone finding out something that you have done and you're just acting like you're either acting like you're stupid or you're acting like you don't know it but deep down you do know about it okay then that is your reading i hope you can all resonate to some extent please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i see you again soon bye